Adobe Premiere Pro CS4. Introduction to Premiere Pro CS4 interface. You can see we have kept a brand new Premiere Pro CS4 interface opened for you all. But don't worry, soon you will know how you can get this in the upcoming lessons. Now, let's see how we can handle our interface. You can see a few panels with different options which may confuse you. But don't worry, be patient and follow because we will explain all. Most of the features in Premiere Pro are grouped in areas known as panels. For example, as you can see, by default, the very first panel contains project and resource panels docked together. Project panel, the repository for links to project assets like video clips, audio files, graphics, still images and sequences. You can use bins, file folders to organize your assets. Let's click the next panel. Resource Central. Resource Central helps in instant access tutorials, sample files, and extensions for Adobe Digital Video Application. Below it, there is again a collection of four panels, Media Browser, Info, Effects, and History. But where is the History panel? It's right there next to the Effect panel. To see it, just hold this thin scroll bar and drag it to the left. See? Here it is. Media Browser makes it easy to browse to files and to find them by their type. The Info panel displays several data about a selected item and timecode information for clips under the current time indicator in the timeline. Standard effects are listed in the Effects panel and are organized into two main bins, Video Effects and Audio Effects. Use the History panel to jump to any state of the project created during the current working session. Note, above each panel we have this thin scroll bar. Just hold and drag it left or right. This is another collection of panels. Source Monitor, Effect Control Panel, Audio Mixer Panel. As you scroll a little, you can see the Metadata Panel too. The Source Monitor plays back individual clips. In the Source Monitor, you prepare clips that you want to add to a sequence by specifying in and out points and the clip's source tracks, audio or video. The Effects Controls panel lists all the effects that are applied to the currently selected clip. Using the Audio Mixer, you can set volume levels of two or more audio tracks relative to one another. The Metadata panel shows both Clip Instance Metadata and XMP File Metadata for a selected asset. Right to it is Program Monitor. The Program Monitor plays back the sequence of clips that you are assembling. It's your view of the active sequence in a Timeline panel. Below, it is Timeline panel. A single timeline panel appears in a frame in the lower central portion of the screen when you first launch Adobe Premiere Pro. Open any of its default workspaces or create a project. As you can see here, the extreme right of the screen, you can have two more panels there. This is Audio Masters Meters. Audio Master Meters panel displays the volume level of the Audio Master track. This is a mini version of the master track, VU, which stands for Volume Unit. This meter is in the audio mixer. This is Tools Panel. Tools Panel contains a number of tools for editing sequences in a timeline panel. When you select a tool, the pointer changes shape according to the selection. For example, when you select the Razor tool and position the pointer over a clip in a timeline panel, the icon changes to a razor. As I told you in the very beginning of this lesson, soon we will see how you can get this interface. So, here we go. First, let's close this interface by clicking the close button right here. Click No, as we don't want to save the changes in this project. Now, let's create your first new project. There are two ways to open the software. Firstly, double-click the shortcut icon in the desktop. If the icon is not there, then click on Start Menu, 
Go to All Programs, Adobe Master Collection CS4, then Adobe Premiere Pro CS4. Right click on it. As you click it, you will get a pop up menu. Go to Send To option and click on Desktop Create Shortcut. You can see that the new shortcut icon is created here. To get into the program, double click the newly created shortcut icon. The second way is click on Start Menu, go to All Programs, Adobe Master Collection CS4, and finally click Adobe Premiere Pro CS4. As you click it, you will get a splash screen which will load the application and finally the welcome screen will be highlighted. Note, once you will finish the installation of software, the shortcut icon will be created automatically on your desktop.